This morning, we continue to honor all the victims of the Highland Park Parade shooting. And today, services will be held for three people that lost their lives Monday. CBS 2's Asal Rizai is in Highland Park where they are being remembered. You can see there is still a memorial growing behind me. There are so many flowers, dozens on the sidewalk that people have come and placed here where the shooting happened on July 4th. The silver balloon there on the ground next to those flowers symbolizing the seven people who lost their lives on July 4th. And today will be the start to many memorials to come for those victims that are being put to rest by their families. Jackie Sunheim, a 63-year-old lifelong member and employee at the North Shore Congregation Israel, was shot in the neck at the parade. Her relatives, who are by her side, say they did everything they could to try and save her. Sunheim's funeral is underway now at 11 o'clock this morning. That's when it began at the temple in Glencoe, where she dedicated so many years of her life. There will also be funeral services for 88-year-old Steve Strauss. His family tells us he worked hard as a broker and loved commuting by train to Chicago almost every day. Services will be held for him at noon at the Jewish Reconstructionist Congregation in Evanston. Also, a funeral for Edward Rivaldo will be held sometime tomorrow. He fought for his life in the hospital four days after the shooting before succumbing to his injuries. His family saying he would be celebrating his 70th birthday today. And later tonight, services for Nicholas Toledo, the 78-year-old grandfather who was here visiting his family from Mexico. His visitation will be this evening at the Emanuel Baptist Church in Joaquin at 5 o'clock. His body will then be transferred to his hometown in Mexico for his final resting place. Now, we will be keeping our distance from those funeral services out of respect for the victims and their families that have asked the press not to attend and give them privacy at this time. Though tonight and tomorrow, there will be a number of events to remember those victims who lost their lives. Tonight, the 28 Mile Distilling Company in Highwood is holding a benefit concert. 100% of their donations will be going to a shooting response fund. Also tomorrow, there will be a procession happening here in Highland Park that starts at 10 o'clock in the morning at the Immaculate Conception Church and will end here at the scene of the shooting. I'm reporting in Highland Park, Asal Rezai, CBS 2 News.